So you've decided to start your fitness journey. Excellent. But you're just not sure where to start? Well, this video is for you. And if you're well into your fitness journey, this video can help you. Welcome to the Spirit and Muscle broadcast where faith meets fitness. I'm Young Gerald, Certified Personal Trainer. So you've decided to start your fitness journey. Excellent. But you're just not sure where to start? Well, this video is for you. And if you're well into your fitness journey, this video can help you make sure your fitness journey is built on a solid foundation. I will be covering the five pillars of Christian fitness that virtually guarantee your success. So let's get started. Pillar number one is having the right motivation. Colossians 3 verse 23 says, Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. The number one reason you have not started your fitness journey or you're having problems sticking to your fitness journey is you don't have the right motivation or you lack motivation. Meaning you have not sufficiently answered the why questions. Why do you want to lose weight? Or why do you want to get in shape? A few months ago, I wrote an article on motivation that goes a little deeper. I also have a free resource you can download called Do What You Want. Actually, it's Do What You Really Want, the three-step motivation hack. It's a PDF worksheet that will help you establish your why. To get it, go to spiritandmuscle.com forward slash motivation. I'll leave the link for this resource and the article in the description as well. Pillar number two is having a healthy mindset. The biggest obstacle to getting fit and healthy is you. The negative thoughts that play over and over in your mind, like, I can never lose weight, or this is too hard, I'll always eat too much. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. So how do you renew your mind? First, identify the stinking thinking, the negative thoughts. Then consciously make the decision to reject the lie and replace that thought with the positive biblical alternative, like I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Whenever you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, rinse and repeat. Reject them and replace them with the positive biblical alternative thoughts. Pillar number three is knowledge or strategy. Proverbs 18 verse 15 says, The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks it out. Channels like Spirit and Muscle and others are a wealth of knowledge here on YouTube. You can learn about exercise and nutrition basics, how to work out for your fitness goals, how to perform specific exercises, information on supplements, and so much more. Then when you're ready to dive deeper, you can hire a coach or buy an, buy an online program. Now have a growth mindset. Be committed to the process of learning and growing because there will always be room for improvement. Pillar number four is to take action. James 1.22 says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. It's not enough to just listen to God's word, or to have all the fitness knowledge in the world. If you don't take action, it's worthless. Once you do have some knowledge and a strategy, create a plan that you can stick to, and then take action. If you commit to the process of learning and growing and putting what you learn into action, with God's help, you'll be unstoppable. Pillar number five is support or community. Galatians 6 2 says, Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. It's important to surround yourself with positive people who you can encourage and support and who can do the same for you. When you feel stuck, there are people around you who can offer different perspectives. You can find community at church, in a gym, or online through social media and message forums. 
I personally find community in all of those options, including being a member of a couple of really awesome Christian fitness groups on Facebook. And I'll leave some links in the description for that if you want to check them out. Now I realize this video didn't get into specific steps like how to join a gym or here's how to bench press or buy this or that workout gear. And the reason is there's already tons of videos that cover those topics. I wanted to give you something more substantial. But if you want to learn the basics of fitness nutrition, click right here. And if you want to learn exercise basics, click here. Be sure to connect with me on social. The links are in the description. That's all for now. God bless you and I will see you in the next video.